decided to turn this seven gallon air tank into a uh, metal forge. So that's kind of a project I'm going to take on today. Limited space. It's winter time, all my stuff is stored in the shop. Uh, this will be fun. Help me get on the back. You want me to get on the back? No. You go ahead and take it for a ride. I got work to do. Okay. Okay. Alright, so first thing, dismantle all this accessory stuff I don't need off of there. So this is the front of the forge, it's upside down. What I'm doing is I'm gonna weld on a couple of tabs just to support the door when it's shut. And the way I'm holding those in place right now is I've got this heavy duty magnet right there, welding magnet, and it's holding those tabs on pretty good. So I'm gonna put those in place and then I'm gonna fashion some sort of hinge for that, that, that door. some uh, square steel on the bottom there to support this thing, give it the legs, and then I tack welded the front which is going to be the door on. It'll make it easier to uh, mock up the hinges and get those welded up. So let's move on with that. So I got this metal stake from the box store. It's like a Home Depot. And, uh, they come a lot longer than that. I've cut this one off. I've been cutting it down a lot more for this project, but I thought it would go well in this three-quarter inch pipe. It's a pretty snug fit. Cut three sections of the three-quarter inch. This will be the hinge pin. Just mock that up and see what we can do. Okay, change of plan. I had this piece of uh, square stock left over. And this three-quarter inch pipe fits in there nice. Nice rotation. I think what I'm going to do is do a three-sided cut twice. Open up, expose this, and that'll be our, our working hinge pin. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so now all we have to do, keep this pin from going all the way out the bottom. I'm going to weld on a washer right there. It should be smooth surface, so it'll allow it to smoothly turn on there. So we'll give that a try. So there it is, welded to the bottom. Pin slides in. Great rotation. I think that'll work. The reason I went with square stock instead of doing the three-quarter inch pipe 
and then the uh, metal stick was because there was more surface area to weld here with the square stock versus that uh, small skinny pipe. So I got a big flat piece here. I think it'll be a better hold. I'm just trying to figure out a handle for the door of this thing. And I decided to repurpose this ratchet strip handle. I think it's kind of a cool handle. That's right. I think it'd be kind of cool. I'm going to give that a try. So I got the one inch pipe, this one inch pipe, it's going to go somewhere like that. I don't really know if there's a real science to where this thing's going to go, so I have just a little bit of aft of center line. Got a set screw in there too. This is the one inch pipe, this is the three quarter inch pipe, and I had to grind the snot out of it to get it to fit in there smoothly. There was that set screw. Anyway, I mean I had to work on it for like 15 minutes grinding take a material off so it fit in there. I don't know why, but it is what it is. So now I'm going to take my hole saw, finish boring out that, and then weld, weld this in place. Alright, got the inch and a quarter hole punched in there. And these welding magnets really come in handy when it comes to setting something like this up, mocking this up. Real helpful. So let's get to welding, see what happens. All right, so I got the hinge mounted, handle mounted. What? What, Papa? What? And there we go. Yeah, Front opening cut. Yeah. That know it looks pretty rough. Yeah. Really you know what? It looks pretty strong, too. Yeah. It looks like... So there it is so far. It's a work in progress. Yeah. I use this MIG tip. And I drill and thread the hole into the pipe where the torch is going to be. Uh, you use a quarter inch by 28 uh, tap for that. And here's what it looks like when it's in. The problem is, at the plumbing store they didn't have any way to fit any plumbing on there. Brass, copper, or galvanized. There was no fittings made for that. So what I had to do is I had to take an end cap, drill a hole in it, tap it to the same size, and then you're going to have something that looks like this. Yeah, it's going to look like that. It's going to connect to your piping, your valve goes on to the gas and then this just threads down on top of there for a good connection. And when you're going to tape it, you use this yellow Teflon tape. It's for gas and you want to make sure you're using plenty of that for a good seal. Okay, the forge is done. Getting ready to put the first test fire on it. I used the two inch ceramic wool that you see right there. I think I used about uh, 12 square feet of that stuff. When you first put that ceramic wool in there, it's kind of dusty. So you want to spray it down with some of this uh, rigidizer. And then to glue it in, I use this cement floor sealer, which is basically water glass. And then I coated it with this uh, Super 32, high temp Super 32. Should be able to heat this forge up to 3200 degrees if you're going to do some forge welding. Get on the back. You want me to get on the back? No, you go ahead and take it for a ride. I got work to do. Okay. Okay.